Hi guys, welcome back to another episode. I completely forgot about taking the camera out last week, so it's now a big rush to get all the bikes ready for the road racing. The bigger bikes are ready, which are strapped behind me now, the two Hondas, so we've got Superbike and Superstock Bike. Because of the British Championship starting again, the road stuff sometimes gets put on the back burner, so the little Aprilia has been a little bit neglected. We've had some parts turn up for it. We've run the bike in and stuff, not done a down a run, but now, in a few episodes back, you will have seen that we started to try and fit some bodywork, but with different bodywork that's not designed for a bike comes a whole new scale of problems. So the big thing is the air intake and stuff is really important on a little bike. Well, it's not really important on any bike, but because the bodywork is not designed for this air box and this bike, we've had like two or three different types of air intake scoop uh, sent over. This being one, but this is the actual outer part that fits the bodywork. But this bit is designed for a Triumph and not for an Aprilia. So then we had to get another air intake that was designed for an Aprilia. So that's what we're doing right now. Trying to get this finished. So then all the bodywork can get sent off to Spray Bay, who, who is the paints our stuff. The tank is obviously on the bike and everything now. But I want to ride the bike at the Northwest before painting the tank just to make sure and see if we want to change the shape another bit or take a little bit off the back of it or anything like that there. Because basically we just don't have time to test the bike before going there. So yeah, bit of a, bit of a push on and that's the plan. Trying to get this finished in time to go to the body shop and see what happens. What do you think then? We'll get a ruler line on that. We'll just nip that cable tie off and then we can run it from there. And then we'll go say 10 mil in front just to be safe. 10 mil? Or, or, what do you think? Might as well put that off. This is the outcome of what we're trying to achieve. This is obviously the original part with the bodywork, and then this was part of a this was a full scoop system that comes from Gabri 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 Racing, I think they're called. So yeah, we've had to remove the end off that, and then we're obviously going to make this right. But quite lucky that the forward-facing bit fits inside the back. So let's see if it fits. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing at? <laughs> Neil, uh, Neil's not convinced. Is that you guys on there? You want to try, I'll try and put this in first. So, oh sorry, just so you guys can see in what we're trying to achieve. So this this whole bracketry system is new because this was the original, and as you can see, with it being that was that was the way it originally sat. So that was the air scoop, clock bracket, everything as one piece, but it's quite heavy, and then. Um, with the rules changing and we're allowed to lose weight, there was a good chance to try and get some, some more weight off. So yeah, we're hoping this is gonna work. It will work, we'll just get it. It just takes a bit of pissing around to try and try and get it to fit. But yeah, like I said, we're really lucky the fact that this bit is actually smaller than the air scoop original. If it was the other way around, then you'd be in hassle of trying to get the airflow right and everything. But as it stands right now, um, it's not looking too bad. What do you mean? Oh, the other carbon part. Um, get this one finished, can't we? And then go off. Yeah, we'll save the other one for them. Go off it. Right, so that's all now. Neil's decided to lift the bike up as high as he possibly can, so I can't uh, see in, but I'll give you a little look down the end. 
Well, you can't see in there properly, but yeah, really happy with the way it fits. We're gonna get some rubber seals, obviously between front of the air scoop and around the bodywork, just so it doesn't rub. And then we're gonna rubber band like a joining point in the two scoops, but luckily because, like I said, the forward facing one is ramming the air in past the bigger one that there's no edge on it. So yeah, getting that. We've had some brackets and stuff sent over too, so we're gonna make some brackets for the bottom of the bodywork, which has changed because the original ones are just a little bit off. And then after that, we're gonna try and fit the, the new front mud guard. Got a Moto 2 front mud guard to help with aero and stuff as well. And then it should be ready to go to paint, all being well. Neil's whistling, that means he's in a good mood. So how, how, how are we gonna get that <laughs> to do what that's doing? <laughs> okay. Do you wanna ask these? Neil wants to know how, 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 how are we gonna get that to do what that's doing? What he means is these. So these are a little bracket. I forgot the bloody name of the place that we got them from. The guy sent them out. So basically see, you put your little Zeus fitting there, in this part, and then you mount your bracket on and you can bend it to suit whatever length. Sorry, I'm looking at the side of the screen to see if it'll fit. Remember, I couldn't remember the name. Name's on there. Oh, zoom in. Palmer Performance. Now my face is not in the camera. Palmer Performance. Thanks. All right, so just to give you an idea of what we're actually doing, this is original bracket. This is a little extension we've put on to try and figure out where the actual fitment wants to be. Now we're going to get rid of all this and then fit this new bracket onto this area here. Which obviously just needs a slight little more bend. Slight little more. <laughs> Proper Irish. And then on the other side is likewise. This one's going to go here and then I'm going to put a smaller version. This one is going to go off there. So, job done. Well. Not yet, but it will be job done soon. Please fit out without taking any long stuff. Oh, come on. Come on. Well, if we just, I reckon if we loosen that bracket at the market, it's not there enough. Okay. Yeah, they are. We take for granted now, don't you, like, bikes, you just buy everything for. But you know, like, back when the bikes were like two strokes and stuff, everybody would well have to do this all the time, wouldn't it? Proper mechanics. I don't know How's your bracket? Pain in my arse. I have to take the fucking exhaust off just to get two measly six mil bolts out of the back of the bracket. Right, job done. Bracket fitted on. Now, probably for the last hour, we've been pissing around trying to get this Moto 2 mud guard to fit. What are you doing with the bracket? What bracket? on. <laughs> <laughs> we're about to get an apology here live on YouTube. Oh, really? I never saw that. So don't apologise. I'm that efficient, you didn't know what to do. So yeah, we put obviously these brackets and two on the front. Trying to get this on for all the little aero gains. But yeah, I've probably been doing this for the last hour. Get the brackets up in there. So yeah, the same brackets that we used for, Neil, stop being rude on the camera, that we used for um, the bodywork are now fitting up in there. Lee said they were rubbish, but I thought they were brilliant. He's trying to get a new sponsor deal now. <laughs> oh God. Yeah, so anybody that fits body work or does anything like this understands that it's a pain in the ass, but it leaves it easier for whenever it comes to racing. She can just throw it on and off. Is it on? Hell yeah, that actually looks quite a factory, that, doesn't it? What do you mean quite? She's an absolute weapon. All we need now is some horsepower. We've got all the aero gains. We just need uh, this part to, to step up, but. Maybe. Should we cut these bits out of these? Because they're heavy as hell, aren't they? <laughs> I think we should just leave them covers off. There's some hellish weight in them. Yeah? Well, might as well for the race. He's been it, he's been it, and he's knackered, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> just that extra. Right, we're sorting these out. We're going to sort your underbars in half now, aren't we? Right, you, so, right, we haven't even started and we're already planning on crashing. <laughs> Fucking hell. If you've been it, you've been it. Neil's exact words were. I better go a bit fucking faster with all this hassle. So that's the mud guard fitted, air scoop finished. We do something with the handlebars now for the brake protector and stuff. But bodywork's ready to get. Set. The only reason we've kept the Prilia bodywork and stuff on 
here is because this tank was made to suit the standard stuff and the chances of getting another seat made to fit that is like pretty much zero so i so still got the original a pretty teal piece on with the rear light and stuff oh nearly yeah, doing a nice slow-mo there keep going <laughs> yeah so that's the reason why the original teal piece is not is on still and not gone to like a moto 2 or a triumph version of that we're nearly there what do you want to do with these right so Literally after we'd started doing that, the guys from Greenlight turned up and they wanted to do a load of mountain fitment points for super bike and super stock bike. So I didn't really want to start videoing them doing that. The workshop's been a little bit of a mess because the two bikes ended up getting stripped up. Basically a quick summary, we've got this really trick. So on the side here, there's normally like a, you can buy like a GB racing crash protector. Got a really cool camera mount that is actually a crash protector. So that's something I'm obviously gonna blag off them and try and use for my camera. Then they fitted another camera system right up in the front here. So like what you see at MotoGP or whatever. And then it will come out through on the front of the bodywork, just through that little hole there. That's also quite cool. And then they're gonna do the same thing, obviously on the super bike, like similar, similar point in there. On the little Aprilia, they ended up getting a mountain off the side of this clock bracket up here. You can't see the hole that's behind there. So that's gonna be a really good uh, camera shot. Yeah, whenever you guys are watching the Northwest and the TT, and you see these camera shots, yeah, you're gonna know how they got them and where the camera's mounted to, to give that viewpoint. So that's us done for today. I'm heading off home. I'm back over, back over again tomorrow. And then the next day we're at the dyno, back to the dyno with the little privileges and stuff. Yeah, rushing to get this sort of, I wanna get as much done this week before we get off to the Northwest. So yeah, all a bit of a last minute rush, but hey ho. Literally, bikes everywhere. This B bike is ready to go now, so that'll probably get put in the truck. Prillia, Prillia. These are both coming with me today because we're going to go to the dyno. This one needs a little bit more running in, and this one needs a power run to see if the changes that we've made to the engine are worthwhile or not. I'm really hoping they are, because we spent a lot of time, money and effort to make it happen. What? You're running already? <laughs> don't, don't mind, I come and do this. Neil, I can't do my job and your job and vlog as well. I want you to push the lever a few times. Jesus, just admit that you need me and I'll come and help you. Well, it would be nice to have sort of an assistant who worked in here, yeah. I, I admit, get... admit that you know. Hold on, admit that you need me, and I'll give you a hand. No, never. What? Never. <laughs> that need you. Right. Get it needs me. Come on, I'll do it. Here, come on. come on, come on. So I want when I let the lever off. Yes, Neil. I know how. To, I know how to uh, bleed a bridge. Nice pumps. Yeah. And then hold it in. You ready? Tactics for you. Yeah. Doing that? What? Them brakes? No, this is not the same bike, mate. This is a different Jesus, bike. Jesus, Neil, you've nearly had the full day out of that. You feel guilty? Absolutely not, no. What? No, I don't. You like bleeding brakes? No, I fucking hate bleeding brakes. You like me? No. <laughs> you like yourself? No. <laughs> you like chocolate, though, don't you? No. I don't like chocolate. Crisps? I like crisps. Do you think you'll have this done for the Northwest? Probably not. Somebody who knows what they're doing will have to bleed him. John, you've got a nice straight. You look like the boy in the striped pajamas today with that t shirt on. <laughs> Putting a new brake light on the back. So, this is the Honda one. And this is what comes. We have these running on the R6. So, we just want all the Hondas to be the same. Changing that over. Right, we've got the van loaded up. So, we're going to get off to Z9 now with the two. Little Aprilias and give them a run and see what the crack is. If if they're decent, I'm going to show you them. And if they're not decent, this is what's happening. Oh, it's gone dark. Give it a second. Yeah. So both bikes in. Like I said, if what we want happens, I'm going to show you them on the dyno. And if it doesn't, you're going to see some onboard laps of me at Silverstone. So. So change of plans today. Jesse's. Oh, turn the radio off. Jesse is off school, 
So we're going to work, aren't we, bud? Yeah. Jesse's teachers decided to go on strike, so we're going to. Do you know where we're going? What's the place called? The dino. Dino. We're going to go on the dino, and we put Jesse's bike in the back as well. Yeah, I'm going to go on my bike. So we're going to see how fast Jesse's bike is as well. Yeah. So, let's yeah. See how Slight change of plans. Daddy daycare at the dino. Let's see what happens. But it's freezing. You're a bit hot? Yeah. It's freezing outside. Wow. What you I, what I Do you want to ask me some questions? No, you asked me some questions. I asked you some questions. Are you happy to be off school today? Yeah. Yeah? Do you like using Daddy's camera? Yeah. Oh, look, there's some horses. Where? In the field, but. What's going on? Oh, there. See them? I think you're going to make everybody very dizzy. Tell everybody what we've got in the back. Uh, my mouth is shut. My massive one. What else is in the back? Uh, you tell me. You tell me. <laughs> First machine on the dyno, oh, Jesse's bike. Let's get unloaded. I'm off the slope. I'm yeah. just going to go to a pond. Don't go too close, yeah? Jesse, yes, you're supposed to be helping me working today. I'm just working the bike. Are you not going to do any work? Eh? No. Why not? I just want to. You just want to ride your bike instead? Yeah. yeah, I'd like to do that. Don't go far, just round here. Right, let's go. Right, today has been an absolute disaster. What we wanted to happen didn't happen, so the dyno footage is quite short. I'm in a bad mood, but no point in you guys missing out. So here is an onboard lap or a few of Silverstone National Circuit on the back of my R6. Enjoy. Thanks again for watching.